Getting started with Focal Point 2. You control the focus with Focal Point 2. It allows you to create realistic selective focus, depth of field, and vignette effects inside of Photoshop. Its new blur algorithm looks just like what you'd see through an actual lens. Its unique focus bug control works just like adjusting a lens inside of Photoshop. We've added a new focus brush, which allows you to paint blur just where you want it. You can recreate the look of popular selective focus, fast aperture, and tilt shift lenses using focal point. It's never been faster or easier to focus the viewer's eye and to minimize distractions. Focal Point is a plugin to Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. To access it, you'll need to make sure you have an image open inside of Photoshop first. Then you can access it a couple different ways. First, you can go to the File menu and then select Automate. Or if you're using Photoshop Elements, it'll be File and Automation Tools. And you'll see Focal Point is listed right here. Now, if you're using Photoshop CS2 or CS3, you can also access it from the On1 menu, which will be installed between the Window menu and the Help menu. Just select On1 and then Focal Point. You can launch Focal Point here, or you can also access any of your presets that you've created or downloaded from the On1 Exchange or that come bundled with Focal Point. There's also a third way, which is new, and you can access inside of Photoshop CS4, and that's the extension panel. Go to the Window menu, Extensions, and then select on one. And it'll open a floating panel where you can access focal point. You can also dock this floating panel inside of your Photoshop palette just by dragging it over and releasing. And you can see it joins the other Photoshop palettes and works just like them. Then to access focal point, you can double click on the title for focal point. Or if you single click on it, you have access to all of your presets and their preset categories as well. Just double click on a preset to apply it, or double click on focal point to open it. When you open focal point, it's going to take over the screen. Photoshop is sitting in the background waiting for you to finish your adjustments. Go ahead and adjust the settings the way you like or apply a preset, then press the apply button. When it returns back to Photoshop, you'll see a new layer on top of your layer stack with the results from focal point. You can also access Focal Point inside of the workflow applications that you use every day, like Adobe Photoshop Lightroom or Apple Aperture. Let me show you how to do it here inside of Lightroom. Just select the image you'd like to work with, then go to the File menu, go to Plugin Extras, and select Focal Point. You'll see a new dialog appear inside of Lightroom. On the left hand side will be all of your presets. You can browse through your preset categories, or you can use the search field at the top to pick one that you want to use. In the middle, you'll see a preview and a description of the effect. And on the right-hand side, under Options, you can control how it's applied. You can edit the original image. You can edit the original as a smart object, which will apply focal point as a smart filter so that you can re-edit it. Or you can apply it to a copy of the image with the Lightroom adjustments applied. That's the one that I use most of the time. Once you have everything set, just press the Apply Preset button. You can also press Open to manually adjust it. Let me show you how to apply a preset. Just press the Apply button. It'll automatically make a copy of the image, opens the image up, applies focal point, and returns the image back to Lightroom in a seamless fashion. Let me show you. See, there's the results after focal point's been applied. It makes applying focal point inside of your workflow applications quick and easy, and it works just the same way inside of Apple Aperture. You can learn more about Focal Point 2 by accessing its user guide. It's HTML based and is located in the Help menu. Just open up Focal Point, go to the Help menu, and select Focal Point 2 Help. You'll also find a wealth of information at the On1 Software website. Here you have access to over 100 free video tutorials, which give you in depth instruction on how to use your product. It's also the best place to find technical support as well as product updates. There's a knowledge base, which will give you answer to commonly asked questions, and a user-to-user -user forum, where you can ask questions from other users. Also, be sure to check out the On1 Exchange, a community website where you can download presets created by On1 software, professional photographers, or other users of Focal Point. You can even share your presets with the community as well.